electricity is one of the greatest inventions ever. But with great power comes great responsibility to keep things safe. That's a Spider-Man reference. This little light globe is drawing a current of 0.28 amps. If the same amount of current was flowing through my body right now, say from one hand to the other across my chest, it would kill me. In fact, it would take only about 0.1 of an amp or 100 milliamps to kill me. My heart would stop beating properly and I would collapse and die. So, though 0.28 amps is going through the light globe, much, much less is obviously going through me because I'm not dying. And why is that? It's because my body has a much, much higher resistance than this light globe and a six volt battery can't push all that much current through me. However, if I come into contact with a 240 volt supply by say cutting this cable open and touching the bare wires, there's an extremely high chance of dying. To demonstrate an electric shock safely, I can pass a small amount of current through my forearm muscles. To make a really good connection, I placed two sponges on my forearm and then covered the sponges with copper plates. The sponges had been soaked in a special chemical that was a very good conductor. Every time I then connected it to the power pack, my muscles went into a spasm, a really creepy spasm, and the voltage that the power pack had been set to was only 18 volts. Electricity is not something we should mess with. Some of the spasms were quite painful. I then connected an ammeter to the circuit and the peak current was only about 10 milliamps, 0.01 of an amp. So if 18 volts has this effect, imagine the effect of accidentally connecting to a mains 240 volt supply. 240 volts from a mains supply would cause complete paralysis. If the current was running across my chest, the muscles that control my breathing wouldn't be able to function. And my heart, which is a muscle, almost certainly would stop beating. In our last episode, we saw how manufacturers of light globes design light globes with different resistances depending on how much current they need to operate correctly. They also have to ensure that the electrical equipment is safe, of course. The electrical connections in our homes also have to be safe. So even though electricity can be dangerous and lethal, in fact, very few people are ever harmed by it. And why is that? Well, in this episode of the Shedding Light on Electricity series, we're going to quickly recap some of the things that we've learned about voltage, current and resistance in previous episodes, and then take a look at some of the safety features that are built into our homes and electrical devices to keep us safe. Let's begin. Thanks for watching this short excerpt from Shedding Light on Electricity Episode 5, Electrical Safety. The Shedding Light on Electricity series teaches students all the essentials of electricity, including how it's produced and how electrical circuits work. In episode 5, we take a detailed look at some of the dangers of electricity, including electric shocks and fires, and at some of the safety features that are built into our homes and electrical devices that keep our lives and property safe. We look at what short circuits are, how circuit breakers work, and a whole lot more. Like all of our programs, this one comes with an outstanding worksheet that helps students to learn the content and to acquire strong critical thinking skills. Visit our website at liakoseducationalmedia.com to download the worksheet and, in fact, all of our student activity sheets, including a wide selection of pracs. Our website also has details about how you can watch the whole program and the whole series. Thanks again for watching this excerpt.